Hey, Michael's back. But this amazing place didn't give baseball a try. It stayed put at 500 North LaSalle. And just like Mike, this place bustles. An enormous bar, gift shop, and huge dining room combined to give tourists and locals alike a closer peek at the world of Michael Jordan. Today, Dining Chicago stopped by to say hi to an old friend, Dave Mazzarano, and new chef, Robert Childers. After stepping behind the line and sampling a few of Chef's favorite snacks like fried mozzarella with marinara, we sat down with Dave to get some insight on how his restaurant works. We are here at Michael Jordan's on North LaSalle Street in Chicago, and we're in Michael's private dining room with my friend Dave Mazzarano. Maz, good to see you, buddy. You too. Um, our show today is large restaurants. We're going to the largest Japanese restaurant where everything's made by hand. We went to an Italian restaurant where, you know, they, 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 they're they requested by tourists. You're sort of maybe in the middle. Mm -hmm. How do you plan a menu for a restaurant like this that's just so busy? Well, Michael is popular with everybody, so you kind of plan a restaurant for everybody. And uh, we try to put together a menu that's sophisticated enough to please the uh, little more demanding diner, maybe a little more upscale. And, I mean, you've uh, got some great seafoods and calamari, and you go to the plain mac and cheese. We go to mac and cheese. We go to you know just the great rotisserie chicken, great barbecue ribs. Some of the more popular, less intimidating items, maybe that uh, people can feel very good about and be familiar with. I've been in here on a Saturday before you open. There's a line around the door. Um, I mean, yeah, well, it's, it's tough for a restaurateur. <laughs> it's tough. I, I mean, you could do well over a thousand people on a Saturday, can't you? Yeah, we can get to 1,300. That's a lot of people. How many people does it take to serve that many people during a week? I mean, how many employees do you have here? Uh, total staff's about 170. Tell me some, some interesting requests you've had at a restaurant like this, because you've got a, such a diverse crowd. Oh, you caught me with that one. Um, there aren't a lot of food requests, really. The requests are all, can I see Michael? Can I go in Michael's room? When's Michael coming in? There are Michael requests. You can't blame him, he's the best. Absolutely. Um, why don't we take a little walk around and give me a little tour of the restaurant, and we'll come back and get some food, okay? okay. Great. I, I was shocked to see the, the volume that goes on in that kitchen. But with all the volume that's out there, a few minutes later, the food is here. And mm -hmm. I ate actually about seven of these uh, when they were making in the kitchen. Just tell us a little bit about what's here and what, the, what are the ingredients. Oh, we've got the uh, chicken flautas in front of me. Great uh, chicken rolled in a uh, corn tortilla, deep fried, served on a bed of rice. Tomatillo sauce? Awesome tomatillo sauce. OK. A little pico de gallo, some sour cream and cheese on top. OK. Anita's favorite dish. There you Can't go. go wrong there. Um, You've got the bow tie pasta. We grilled chicken in a great pesto cream sauce, some domestic mushrooms, and then Michael's favorite pregame meal. Well, although there's not a pregame pre -game anymore, but uh, the New York strip steak. And now what about the mac and cheese? It, I always heard it's, rumors about that mac and cheese. Did his mom make that, or what was the deal? Juanita's mac and cheese, actually. Ah, excuse me. But it was me. from her mom, originally. Oh, okay, okay, excuse so it's, me. Let's see a Jordan family staple. If, if, if people, well, let me just say this, if you've got 1,350 people or 1,400 people coming through here in a night, the quality of the food is, is amazing. Um, if people want to come here, uh, first of all, they want to copy your, your menu or want to know about, what do they have to do? They have to dial 644-DUNK. DUNK. And first they get to hear Michael's voice on the automated attendant, and then they get their selections. And they okay. can choose a selection for a uh, menu fax to them, they can get directions to the restaurant coming from any of the major tollways or expressways around neat, here. Neat. They can hear all the hours, operations, and the dress code, and all the fun things. Because we always do it, I want you to say what's your phone number, what's your address, and when are you open? We are open from 11:30 every day, Sunday through Saturday, at 500 North LaSalle Street in Chicago, and call 312-644-DUNK, and you can get all the other details you're possibly going to need. Great. Let's eat. <laughs> 